coming at you. Jump kick, Friday, side angle. Hope you enjoyed that. Gave you a little bit of energy boost because that's what we are here for. And some technical knowledge and some workouts and a couple other things. I've enjoyed seeing some new faces in the Zoom classes. If you're in the IA community and you're watching this, Zoom class, noon, 5 p.m., Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 a.m. on Saturday. Try it out. Three, four weeks ago, it was a little weird. We we're just starting it now. It's a thing. You're at home, you wanna see some gym peeps, you wanna chat a little bit, check it out. On Sundays, we got lots going on on Sundays. Make sure you're checking that daily email. Got the 9 a.m. Uh, yoga. We got uh, baking with Brittany. Uh, we have book club. Lots going on in the Zoom class, all right? If you're in the community, participate. We'd love to see you. All right, workout for today. Got a leg strength work that is a little bit interesting. I'm excited to get into that, but before we do that, let's warm up. Today, some lower body work to start with, so we're gonna go leg swings, all right? Let's go forward and then off to the side. Start to get things moving a little bit. Then I wanna stretch out the hips a little bit. Sit in that seated position, this one where we are up tall and then we rotate. Sit up tall and then rotate, all right? From here, we're gonna kick back into our perfect lunge. Hold here and get some rotations in. Down and then press up. Down and then press up. That'll start to open the shoulders, wrists up a little bit. We got a lot of dumbbell work. So let's focus on those wrists just slightly. Turn them under and then press them over. Under and then over. Like I say all the time when we're doing the warm ups, it's not necessarily about the reps. I want you to get in 15, 20 reps of each. Make sure you're opening up at your own pace, all right? From here, we're going overhead a little bit. So we're gonna drop down, hit a few burpees, and we're gonna make them uh, push-up burpees. So we're gonna drop down, chest down, two push-ups, and then jump back up. Let's get 10 of those, that'll be 20 push-ups. You'll be fired up, ready to go overhead, arms, shoulders, all loosened up, all right? From there, start to cool down a little bit with some Samson lunges. Big step back, it'll loosen and warm those legs up, and then overhead reach. Big step back into overhead reach. Let's get 20, 30 reps there, okay? Now, should be starting to feel a little bit warmer. We're gonna go into our strength training. Single leg glute bridge to start, and then we have uh, hamstring curls. Now, these are gonna be a lot easier with something to kind of slide your feet on at home, wood floor, maybe winter hat. I'll try to demo them the best I can here. So, we have glute bridges, single leg, kick one leg out, and then you're gonna press up and then back down. Press up and then back down. If that is easy, you can try to find a little bit of weight. Center that right about your core plate, probably the easiest thing to do. Then you're gonna hold there and then press and drive up. Press and drive up. Makes it a lot harder with a little bit of a load there. So if you're feeling like these are way too easy for 10, only three rounds today, I want you to add a little bit of weight to that. Make these challenging. Five to 10 on the hamstring curls, okay? So I'm here, my heels are on a slippery surface, and then I'm pulling up and driving through, okay? I, I set my feet down to make it a little bit more slidey, but if I stay up on my heels, it's going to be a lot harder. I'm trying to stay neutral here as I drive back down. I'm gonna hold on to the mat for some support. Back down, keeping those hips pressed up. Slide, you'll feel those hamstrings grab. Back down. Slide, okay? What we wanna do is avoid sliding with just the knees. Obviously, that's not too challenging. Or making that slide, and then we press up and overextend. So now I'm kind of in a press. I stopped too early. I'm kind of hyperextending that low back, okay? So stay neutral, drive up, stay on those heels. It'll make it a lot harder. I'm trying to keep this angle flat, and then drop back down. Something a little different, it's gonna be fun. Try it out, all right? Maybe five to 10 is lower volume. You have a real slippery surface. Um, you're cruising through them, like up to 20, all right? Those should be challenging, should feel those hamstrings lighten up a little bit afterwards. Workout, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Going all the way down the ladder. We're gonna start with uh, dumbbell, hang, clean, and jerk. Classic movement, it's my hundo. All right, so before you hit these, like usual, let's work a little bit of hinging. So we're gonna hinge and stand, hinge and high pull, hinge and bring that dumbbell up, and then maybe into a push press or a push jerk, all right? So for the 50, we wanna try to get a nice rhythm keeping that dumbbell close. I'm gonna hinge over on my shoulder and then press up. 
back down, hinge, press up. I'm gonna throw a little jerk in there, especially for that set of 50, so that's as I'm driving up, I'm down and then punching through with that weight. Then reset. They don't have to be alternating today. Dumbbell hang clean and jerk, followed by sit ups. A couple different options here, just throw a curveball at you. Support your local box workout last week. The standard was a little bit different. As they reached down for that sit up, they did not throw their hands up over their head. They just sat up and then touched their toes. Sat up, touch the toes. A little bit harder, a little bit more core isolation, not as much of a sweep with your whole body to keep it going. Up to you how you uh, want to utilize it today. Do it's a little bit more challenging, a little bit more difficult for you. After your set, 50 and 50, 10 sprawls. So it's feet out, jump up. Feet out, jump up. Heart rate goes back up. Sit ups, you control it a little bit after you get through those hand cleaning jerks, and then sprawls, heart rate jumps back up. 40, 30, 20, 10. Repeat the pattern. It's after for the sprawls, so you end on those sprawls. It's Friday. Enjoy yourself. All right. Hopefully, we'll see you guys on the Zoom. Have a great weekend.